Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and these are the fractional gears. So let me first show you how the gearing works. Um, actually the, um, the gearing system has been symbolized on one of the gears. So we have one egg gear and another gear below. And they rotate like this. And this gear it has half fold symmetry. And you may ask what is half fold symmetry, but let me explain with this other uh, example. Here we have uh, two gears, one egg shaped gear, actually it's the same egg as that we're seeing here. And the gear below has two fold symmetry and the egg gear has only one fold symmetry. So uh, if we turn the gear with two fold symmetry by 180 degrees, then the gear with one uh, fold symmetry has turned uh, 360 degrees. So when we look uh, the same way uh, here, if uh, I turn um, the egg-shaped uh, gear 360 degrees, the other gear goes um, 720 gear, uh, 720 degrees. So it goes at uh, even twice the speed. So since this one has one fold symmetry, I would claim this one has half fold symmetry. And let me show you in a bit more detail from the side how it works. So first the gear engages with the bottom part and then it moves over and it engages with the top part. It accelerates, it decelerates and there it engages with the bottom part. And to make the top part and the bo bottom part fit, um, here you can see at the bottom uh, the, uh, the egg shaped gear, it has some cut out and uh, when you go through this, then the red gear uh, goes through the cut out to the big gear. So the logic of what we are seeing here is we have a gear with uh, a two fold symmetry one fold symmetry, this gear has one fold symmetry and this gear has a half fold symmetry. So my question to you is uh, do you actually agree with my reasoning? Have I convinced you that I have really designed a gear with half fold symmetry? Thank you for watching.